Hey, good morning, everybody. And I've got a fantastic topic here with me. Why so serious? And I, I keep asking that myself. And, I, and that's how I led my life, okay? Why so serious? I mean, why is that? And of course, uh, the pandemic has taught us this in a big way to all of us. Why so serious? Take baby steps at a time, right? And that's when you get time to breathe, time to realize, time to appreciate everything. Now, this very topic uh, that I, I have been, uh, you know, asked to speak on is more like my, my life rather than anything else, you know. I, I would, uh, during the course of my interaction and my speech uh, uh, and uh, whatever I'm going to share, it's part of my life and part of my journey in becoming whatever I am today. So I grew up in a small town. It's called Kharagpur. So everybody who's born in Kharagpur is uh, an aspiring IITN. So I was also forced to be an IITN by my parents. And then one fine day I asked my dad, what if I'm not an IITN? And I got actually thrashed very badly. And I went outside and I said, why am I being thrashed so badly? I mean, so what if I would not an IIT? I'll be something else. And so how does it matter? And suddenly this question pops up from my brother. Why don't you do IHM, hotel management? No background, anybody not knowing anything. Not a single family member ever dined in a restaurant until 18 years of age. And I'm being pushed or I've been asked that why don't you go and join IHM? So I said, okay, why not? Let's go and join. So I went ahead and joined IHM. From only one, one thought in my mind that I'll get a job. And during this, those days, 30 years back, to support a family was the most important thing. I said, okay, since we are not very serious about, uh, you know, getting into IIT, why don't we get into IHM? And then suddenly we had a neighbor who had done IHM and he got a job. And since he got a job, we were all thrilled that, okay, I'll also get a job. So I said, without anything, much thinking, let's go and join. Forget what happened. So as I joined IHM, I realized that, okay, this is where my passion lies. Okay, this is what I want to do. And that's where I'm coming from when I say, why so serious? When you are not really serious, you are calm in your mind, you get time to think, you get time to appreciate all the little things around. You get time to appreciate company of friends. You get time to value everything around. So whenever I was planning my life, which was not happening according to me, I would always say, okay, what's next? Let's take it the way it is coming. So the moment I realized that there was an underlying passion that popped up suddenly when I went to do hotel management. I said, okay, now no looking back. Let's, let's go ahead. Let's become, you know, part of this whole story. Let's start learning the process. And in due course, we started learning our whole, uh, you know, I, I started learning about what a chef is going to be. And believe me, in hotel management also, I was very clear at that point of time that, okay, now that I have joined without doing anything, I want to be a chef, let's formulate a plan. So when you are calm, when you are quiet, you still get time to underline, to mark, to note down things. And that's what I started doing slowly, steadily, that okay, what is that that is required to become a good chef? So I understood that we did not have hospitality booming too much around us. And since it was not moving around, so how do you acquire knowledge through other people, okay, through ustads, to age-old cooks who would not teach you? So I started buying books. I started passionate. I, I, I was passionate about reading culinary stories, culinary books. And then in this slow formation, without pursuing too hard around, I realized that my family also started becoming the part of my life, you know, and whatever I wanted to do. And without being too serious that, okay, I want to be there, I want to be there, I want to be there, I realized that things were slowly falling in place. 
and they were all falling in place in such a manner that there was a pleasure behind everything that i was doing so i love to work i would love to work in the kitchen for long hours i would love to collect articles my father would collect all articles that would come in newspapers he would collect and give me a bunch of them when i would go back to my hometown and then slowly things started falling in place and when things started falling in place i also realized that with my passion i started loving what i'm doing i started expressing also what i was doing and all this in that calm growth that was happening i realized that okay whatever was coming to me i was trying to analyze that okay is this helping me grow sometimes actually not sometimes every time uh, it would help me grow but it would also make me fall at the same time because i took some wrong decisions but i was okay i took it i took it i mean for example i'll i'll give you a story about this i was one of those most written about chefs in 90s 93s in newspapers and suddenly i took a decision of going to a small restaurant and then i got told by people that you know you i think you did a wrong thing i said okay doesn't matter now that i have taken up a decision of joining a restaurant uh, since the whole community in bombay is telling me that hello you need to remove you need to move out i went ahead and joined and i realized that that is where i got my maximum mileage in newspapers so all those who were thinking that i was doing a wrong thing i actually was doing calmly quietly and everything right because i had the opportunity to think right so in my unplanned life without being serious i got everything lined up because i i like i mentioned earlier you know you get time to think you get time to value what you are doing you get time to love what you are doing you get time to appreciate everything that is around you and that's what helps you in growing so from there the jumps happened every time and it happened in such a manner that it went to the television industry then i suddenly realized oh okay this is also something which is coming to my lap take it let's not uh, forget that this is also something that is coming to me so in in due course it also became help me become very popular and and i i reached out to people people started loving me and then suddenly this namak shamak namak shamak dal dete hain happened and it also happened out of uh, an unplanned course of shooting in television it was nothing that was planned that was happening but in an unplanned structure i got something which became so popular in the world and sometimes in your career in your life you will realize that i did not plan to be here you know it happened and it happened all of a sudden and now that i'm here let's try to utilize the best of it and from there happened the course of planning out an entrepreneurship program things that i didn't know i mean i didn't know appliance industry okay i was a chef i started learning about appliances i created an appliance business restaurants was part of my business we did that digital was never a part of our life you see early days when we were chefs we were not even knowing what digital is not knowing what computer is today digital is a means of you know making a complete enterprise so we slowly started learning that and slowly started utilizing that so every time some things happen we said that okay if there is some fun in it and it gives me pleasure in doing let's try and do it let's forget what's going to be the result but let's try try to keep doing something which is giving you pleasure and things that gave me pleasure i kept doing that without actually forcing myself being too serious about it i, I never really did that in my life i i every time i felt i rose up and i told myself okay let's smile and let's walk ahead because that's what changes everything in life you know and when you keep smiling keep falling keep uh, <laughs> coming back again springing back to life and keep walking ahead i think uh, it gives you it does not give you the guilt of that okay there was something which was uh, wrong which i did okay if, if it was wrong it was wrong let's forget it let's keep it behind like lord buddha always says that why you hold on to things that are gone in the past let's make a path which is clean and clear ahead 
and why be so serious about it so we did not uh, really think that you know things have to be very structured very planned no i i have not dealt my life like that i have taken one things at things in small steps in baby steps the way they came to me i accepted them as i always uh, tell people that in the calm is the opportunity so i took that thing very seriously and in the unseriousness there was some elements which always helped me move ahead in life wo jaise hindi mein kehte hain main to chalta chale gaya rasta apne aap banta gaya aur kuch manzilein aayi jahan main ruka aur kuch aur manzilein aayengi jinko main hasil karunga to main apni unserious life mein bahut khush rehta hu which helps me keep my mind very calm and that shows on my face and that's what makes people smile and i thank all of you for having me here listening me and giving me this opportunity to be part of all of you so thank you once again thank you once again is that the namak chamak namak yes, chamak dal dete hain namak chamak namak chamak dal dete this is a thought of not adding salt to food this is the thought of adding happiness to somebody's life in the kitchen because someone in the kitchen is always alone you are actually alone let me tell you this okay and that's when you get the time to think and most of the time people think that being alone is depressing no it is not it is bringing the calm in your mind and helping you understand clearly why you are here what you should be giving back to the world and that's what is all about namaksha